Hi everyone, welcome to Appliance Advisors with Yale Appliance. I'm Francesco, joined as always by Dennis. How are you today, Fran? Very good, yourself? Great, great. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about maybe a topic that we haven't, we don't talk about a ton, but really important, and that's gonna be garbage disposals. Yeah. So, you know, we all kinda, of, not everyone, but you know, a lot of us have a disposal, but you don't really think about it a lot. So when you have to replace one, or you're having a new kitchen build out, and you need to purchase a garbage disposal, what are some of the things that we even need to consider or think about when we're comparing some different ones out there? Yeah, so two types. Let's just break them down. They mm -hmm. start with two types. There's what's called batch feed and continuous disposals. Batch feed, think about it like this. You basically, to keep it basic, take the plunger, yeah. a metal top, stick it into the sink, twist that cover, and that's what engages the disposal mm -hmm. to make it work. That's one, that's called batch feed. Yeah. The next one is continuous, which is a, some type of a switch, a wall switch. Yeah be another type of switch I'll talk to in a second, but some, it basically needs a switch to flip it off and on. Those are the two main, first thing you think about. Secondly, from there, we would think about um, power mm -hmm. and RPMs. Generally speaking, the more RPMs or spin speed, the better the warranty to the disposal, because okay. that is what, when a, when a disposal binds, and it's not strong enough to break through that protein a lot of times, yeah. or those bigger uh, bits of scraps, it binds and it wears it out, right? Just like a motor that's running mm -hmm. harder. Um, so the stronger, the, the more it pulverizes, the faster it gets through it. Uh, two benefits there, longer longer uh, warranty or, or lifetime, and then more often generally quieter because that's the next question people ask, are these things loud? And what makes a disposal loud is when it binds when it can't get through the food it's trying to grind. So I would always recommend do the bigger RPM if you have that opportunity. And the only reason why you wouldn't would be physical size. That would be the last uh, thing you think about is yeah. how big it is in the space. Yeah. There are some that are a little more stout, a little smaller uh, physically in the cylinder, mm -hmm. uh, or, or a little bit larger. Yeah, just space under the cabinet. Yeah. What's, what's what you're dealing with there. Okay, so you answered most of my questions. Now, one question I have is like, why, or is there a reason someone would choose a continuous feed versus a batch feed? Yeah, so the, the concept a lot of times was batch feed was considered safer. Mm -hmm. That no one would ever put their hand into a disposal, flip a switch, and have an awful accident. The cover could literally, it was intentional. You yeah. had to cover the unit and your hand wasn't going Honest. down. That was the concept. The, the pros and cons of that is that type. Um, keeping it simple, again, is you really are sticking your hand in, in all the stuff. Yeah. And dirty stuff <laughs> yeah, to get true. it to turn on. That's not the best experience. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, that that's what I would say. A lot of times, too, you were on maybe an island. You had an island kitchen back mm -hmm. yeah. uh, when they first started doing islands, and you didn't have a wall to have a switch. Right. So if that's the case, you are on an island, you want a disposal on the island, an ear switch. It's a little switch you we put into the counter. Mm -hmm. All different finishes can be decorative. Press that ear switch, gulp of air goes under, toggles and turns your nice. disposer on underneath, and off you run. So... Batch feed really was a thing we did in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. You still sell them, but it's it's 100 to 1 that you do more of this continuous type. Yeah, they're almost more replacements at this point. Better too. warranties, yeah. a little less expensive, you know, that type of thing. Awesome. All right, so I think that's everything on garbage disposals. Next episode, we're going to dig a little bit deeper and really talk about is a garbage disposal safe for a home with a septic system? Yeah. So join us next time. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. Thank Take you. Take care.